What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny and no, I am not gonna recommend a criminal sneaker on this list. Don't even trip. However, this list does comprise of some sneakers I believe are perfect for the fall season. And they're also sneakers I just feel in general. So today I got my list of the top five sneakers for the fall season. Let's do it. First sneaker up on this list has to be a classic and that is the Air Jordan 1s. Air Jordan 1s have been around since the 80s and has since remained a classic timeless silhouette that's never gonna get old. Now the reason why this sneaker is perfect for fall is because most of their models come with a high top cut, the leather is gonna block out a ton of heat and is easy to clean, and a lot of their colorways go perfect with earth tones and fall colors. Now if you wanna know my take on how to style these sneakers, check out a video I made before, it is linked in the description. Not the first one I ever made. That's pretty cringe to me and I made that video when I first got my pair of Jordans. Like, you know when people first get into fitness and they become obsessed with fitness? You know, they start making just a little bit of gains and they just start making videos and posting a ton of content around fitness, acting like they're fitness influencers? That was me, so just don't watch that video, bro. Anyways, Air Jordan once have stayed on my top five list of favorite sneakers because it was really the first hype sneaker I ever purchased and it also looks really good depending on what colorways you get. Now the classics remain the breads, the Chicago's which I don't have, Royals and a few more. If you're gonna cop one, I definitely recommend the Breads because it is probably the most recognized sneaker out there. And I'm not saying cop it for the recognition. I'm saying cop it because I've actually met a lot of people in the streets that have the same appreciation for sneakers as I do. And they've now become some of my good friends. Not only that, despite the bold colorway, it actually color blocks really well with most outfits. Highly recommended. Royals are cool as well. And if you really got some bread and not, not the Breads I talked about earlier, but some bread, the Travis Scott Jordan ones go hard and perfectly suit the fall vibes. And also the Union LA's have actually become my favorite sneaker in my collection. The way it's color blocked, the partial cream laces, just overall the design of these are fire. Now I'm a broke boy, I can't even afford this, but my old roommate passed this on to me as a going away gift when I left New York City. And man, I am in love with these. These pair well with cargo pants. Definitely pick one up if you could, if you got the bread. Otherwise, just stick with the classics. Next sneaker up is the most affordable brand and bang for your buck out there. Vans. So Vans have been around for a long, long time. And it is one of my first sneakers I really tried saving up for to buy for myself back when I skated every day. They also remain the most versatile in my collection because of its simplicity, functionality, and the models themselves. Literally any aesthetic you can think of, Vans are going to pair well with that. The skater aesthetic, of course. Punk and grunge, of course. Tech wear, of course. Now, you can't go wrong with any model in black or white. That's what I typically stick with. But they've also done a ton of fire collaborations with Fear of God and CDG. All are recommended as well. Well, I personally have the classic old schools, the eras, and the authentics, and I definitely wear these more than any other sneaker in my collection. Now, if you're gonna cop a pair, cop one with the Comfy Kush technology. It's gonna save your feet and is only $10 more. But also, if you're a skater, do not cop the lifestyle models. Those are not meant for skating. Believe me, I should have took my advice on that. So for some extra durability for my skaters that can land steezy trays, pick up a model that has the pro name to it. These ones are designed for skating with extra durability on the soles and the uppers so they don't tear that easily. Now, I have been wearing these with a ton of cargo pants and most of these sneakers on this list also looks great with it as well. Cargo pants just have this unique touch to its design that lets it stand out from a typical pair of denim or chinos. I get all my cargo pants from the sponsor of today's video, Black Taylor. So, Black Taylor is an online cargo streetwear based company with a ton of designs that'll suit anyone's taste. From the strap baggy cargos to the slim skinny cargos, I think every guy should have a pair of cargos in their collection, not only to switch up the fits, but because they pair well with so many sneakers and aesthetics. Like I said earlier, I wear Vans all the time and they go perfect with the tech wear aesthetic. So I'm rocking a pair of cargos from their nylon collection. It has a clean utility look that pairs perfect with a parka, a utility bag. Plus you can rock it baggy or you can strap the cuff of the pants as well. If you guys want to cop a pair from Black Taylor, there is a link in the description. Their customer service is great and they'll help you pick a pair that's perfect for you. And if you do cop something, use my discount code GETFLY10 to save some money and send me your receipts as well. But either way, whether you cut the old schools, the skate highs, the eras, the authentics, the slip-ons, Vans are by far the best sneaker for fall or for any season. Next up is a sneaker inspired by a classic silhouette from the 80s the Yeezy Power Phases, but also the original Continental 80s and the Reebok Classics. The Reebok Workout Classic and the Continental 80s were originally releasing in the 80s and the Yeezy Power Phases releasing in 2017. Now, I never liked the dad sneaker trend. I'm glad it's already almost out, but that trend is what propelled these sneakers back into mainstream fashion. And I'm glad because these dad sneakers have a way more appealing look than the Triple S's from Balenciaga and many others. These were just simple, super clean, and pairs well with a lot of outfits. Personally, I like to rock these with a pair of cargo pants as well, like I said earlier or cuffed pants with crew socks. You can get any of these models for hella cheap now, and Yeezy is even dropping some suede colorways on the Yeezy Power Phases. Any of these models are a must cop because of their versatility and their history. Plus for me, it's also a nice step away from wearing so much Nike all the time. Next sneaker up is the New Balance 997. 
I don't have any on me, but I will. So the 997 is a clean sneaker within itself, but they also have other trims with the original, including the 997S, and the 997H. In my opinion, these look a lot cleaner and more sporty and will pair really well with athleisure and the active wear aesthetic. If you got some funds, the collaboration they did with the 997S model with Kith and Bodega are absolutely flames. But to me, the original non-collaboration models look great as well. Now to style these sneakers, just treat it like a normal runner. Follow the active wear and athleisure aesthetic or just simply wear it with a pair of cuffed pants with a little bit of ankle showing. Plus it is comfortable and designed to withstand impact. Definitely pick up one of these models just so you can step out of the two giants in the industry industry and just try something new. New Balance. Last but not least is also a classic, the Nike Air Force Ones. You guys see a pattern here? Classics. You can never go wrong with them. Now, these shoes are a mixed bag. You can either look like a criminal or a good Samaritan. You take your pick, but personally, I'm gonna stay away from the all blacks. The Air Force Ones have become one of my favorite sneakers recently because I ain't the tallest dude out there, and it does give your boy about an extra inch or so, but they also look really clean and is also a great bang for the buck. I mean, you're only talking $90 for the classics and a bit more for the unique colorways and designs. Recently, I caught these forces right here, $115, couldn't go wrong with that. These ones have traces of the classic pearly whites, but they also have their own unique look with removable Nike logos with different colors, so you can switch up the way you look. The Air Force Ones have a ton of models as well. Personally, I would just stick to the classics. If you want that utility look, cop the Special Forces or the Acronym collaborations. There's also the off-white ones, which I can absolutely not afford. Because these are a chunkier sneaker, watch the fitment of your clothing. That is why I love cargo pants because they are baggier but tapered down for the slick modern look and it complements the chunkiness of the sneaker. Now watch when I wear it with skinny denim. It makes my feet look chunky. So if you can, rock skinny denim that is more on the slim fit side. You can rock regular relaxed fit jeans that are cuffed with crew socks. Any of these work for a more balanced look. Now a few runner ups that didn't make the list are Tim's for my New Yorkers. However, I don't live in a climate anymore that calls for that type of boot but it looks great, adds some height, and has a true fall vibes with the weak colorway. And also shout out to runners or models that look like runners like the Nike Element 87s or 55s, the Air Max 97s or the Adidas Night Joggers. It's bulking season, it's athleisure season, so gotta rock some comfy runners for the cozy vibes. Alright fellas, if you found this video helpful, give this video a like please, please, for the YouTube algorithm. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already at FlyWithJohnnyTai. Leave a comment down below on your top 5 favorite sneakers. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and until then, stay fly, stay animosity free, and I'm out bro. Peace!